Hello everybody and welcome to Surviving with Blood Magic. This is a, a mod pack I've created. And when I've got a few mods in here, let's just have a quick rundown of the mods. Obviously I've got Blood Magic in here because that's an important one. Of course you need Forge. Smooth Font is basically there to do fonts. Uh, smooth them out so you can see better, mm, the text better as you can see. It's not pretty good. Just another item shows you how to make things, basically crafting recipes. Apple Skin, that shows you things like uh, food related. So it says, various food related HUD improvements. Guide API is a mod for documentation and it actually provides the manual for the blood magic which is here. Redstone Flux is just a dependency for Core FH and now the reason I've installed this is I wanted to get um, some form of ore doubling that's an early-ish game thing without going through the uh, black magic uh, blood magic stuff and this gives you smashing which is one. It gives you a lot of other um, enchantments as well and a few other bits and pieces. Controlling allows you to set your key bindings, find out duplicates, find out free ones that you say you can do that. Chicken shed allows uh, chickens to drop feathers. Fast leaf decays because I'm impatient and I can't be bothered to wait for leaves. Grave mod, well, gravestone mod will drop a, a grave so you don't lose your items so when you die. Harvest this is uh, doesn't give you much information about this, it? it's um you right click a crop and it'll drop the crop and maybe a seed as well if it's in the mood inventory tweaks well that's just about sorting inventories and being able to sort of automatically place things yep tells you what it does journey map of course provides a, a mapping system for the uh, for the mod just enough resources this is uh basically shows you what it says. tells you what it does it says Adds tons of stuff about world gen, plant drops, mod, mob loot, chest loot, villages, and enchantments. Now, lag goggles. That's an interesting one. I've really just included it for the sake of being able to see if there is a, a got any lag in the world, I can find out where it is. And we could actually have a quick look at that, maybe. Light level overlay. This gives you uh, numbers representing the light level on each block. Very handy, actually. When you get to, say, like two, you can put down torch. This one here is for mod mouse tweaks. You can basically drag your mouse around. You can drag your mouse around here with a stack of cobblestone. You'd be getting eight furnaces, for example. Progressive automation, that's an old mod. Uh, what I'm doing with this mod is I am simple farming, I reckon. It, fortunately, it doesn't drop the upgrades when you break a, an, um, a weapon, a tool, or a, a, the block. It should really, it should really uh, drop the upgrades that makes it pretty expensive I tend really cheat them back in again the one probe that's a, a visualization thing saying what you actually got that's the one probe add-ons um, so that actually gives support for blood magic there's some blood magic in there and villager info basically tells you about villages not really important for this but if you need to know stuff about villages where the center is how much how many villages are there then you've got that mod so now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to create a sing create a new world. I'm going to call it world. Because if you want to run it on a server, it's a always named world. It's a survival one, and I've got some more options here. And I'm going to just paste in here a seed. Now this seed I'm basically using is the one I created for a test world. It was just a random seed, so I've copied that out there. So now I've got a rough idea of where things are, and it's it makes it saves a bit of time. So let's create this new world then. When we create the new world, we're actually going to start on, as it happens, an island. <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up world spawn. It takes a few seconds, but the mod pack's only got about 27 mods in it, it's not exactly huge. So let's set up the journey map um, marker and just call it WS for world spawn and save that like that. And that'll do for this one. So now we have a quick look around here. Um, eastwards is an interesting direction. If we look eastwards, we come across a interesting view. And you also get the one probe manual or the one probe information. There you go. What do you see there? <laughs> hey, ocean monument. That's a great start. If you want looking for ocean monuments, well, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go um, south east I think I'm gonna go there's an island over here I'm gonna go and start over there as you can see so I'll see you in a few seconds when I've actually reached that island and I've actually done some preliminary resource stuff 
So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, as you can see, I've done a bit of work on this little island, or this land, bit of land here. In fact, it was the other side I went to. So if you have a look at the journey map, we should be able to see this is where I went to here, and so they're coming over this side like this. So now we're going to go and um, have a look at what I've done. Basically, this is all, all of this is automation from Progressive Automation. So we can basically drop down trees as they get built, and then we can actually go and collect the resources which are in here. If I get through the doorway, there's. So if we can look up here, there's a, there's a tree chopper with some items already in it. I'm basically using sticks and stone axes, and it's chopping them, giving me oak in this particular case, and the other one is giving me beech, like that. Uh, and then in through here, we've got some more. So this first one here will be for wheat. So this has actually generated 30 wheat so far. It's slow because I've only got two um, upgrades in there. There's an enderman, I need to be careful of him. <laughs> Maybe I would actually like to get rid of him. Let's just have a look at this. I think this will do a safety bit. And then we just have to look at him. Right, he's annoyed. Actually, he can't get to me, can he? Because it's too high. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's good. If I, he can't get to me, I can go and get him, can't I? Oh, he's gone. I just had to hide in here a little bit. He'll come back again, I guess. I'm sure of it. But he can't get me down here anyway. So let's have a look at this. Here we've got a chopper, which I've got some sugar cane in. We've actually, got a reasonable amount of sugar cane now. I've got a st over a stack. And this one is for potatoes, and there's one down there here for carrots. This one's got carrots in it, and this one over here has got uh, beetroot in it. So I've managed to find, find villages where those in as it happens. Potatoes and the carrots, I think I've been getting from mob drops. Now, where's he gone to? Let's go down here and see if I can find him because he's, he's going to be busy getting across until he's killed <laughs> no always probably waiting for me outside so we'll have a look in here in the actual base itself close the door so here we've got another little space here for that have a serious look good didn't drop an ender pearl unfortunately but there we are so he's not making any more noise. So I've been busy getting collecting resources and one of the things I've been doing is I've set up an AFK fish farm. So reasonable amount of fish in this one. Um, this is the stuff I've been actually harvesting. So for example here I've got um, some iron ore. Let's just, just put these down here. And on this pick I've got a smashing efficiency 4 and a fortune 2. And what I want to do is I want to put onto that another enchant. I want to put mending on it. Um, here I've got crafting table and here I've got some items. Oh, I've already got two under pulls. This, the other chest was full so I had to get this. So, so this is the blocks chest with dirt and sand and wood. And Actually most of the wood's outside. Is in this chest here. I should fill it up with the other stuff. And over here is a chicken <laughs> with an egg. And I just take the egg and I throw the egg at, throw the egg at this one like this. Stand up a bit actually. I thought, and if it drops a chicken it goes down there. But I did one missed and you fell outside of it. So in here I've got a lot of books from fishing. A lot of fishing rods from fishing and a lot of bows from fishing too. Uh, this one's the rest of the stuff. Bottles of water and saddles. Now the bow, some of these are actually rather impressive. This is the one I want to enchant with it, onto this bow. So uh, onto this pickaxe. I never, need, never need another one. Now we've got some this one here has got enchanted with four pal three fire aspect holding five now holding's no use in this pack because it happens luck of the sea th three um the reason holding's no use because i don't have anything that you can use for that uh, there's nothing in vanilla or blood magic for that stuff uh, and then you've got power sharpness four multi shots there's some pretty good books in here as well as some fairly decent bows like this one here flame insight three powerful and breaking so you do all you need to do for that is to go in my chest here I've got the fishing rod I've been using so it's got basically the important one was mending on this once you've got mending you can stand here for hours just fishing away and the stuff gets dropped into this chest 
from here. Now this is the standard Panda 4 994 9, build for Minecraft 111 I think. And I haven't got a quark in here so I can open the chest underneath the slab. So that's one little trick for you. And then that was basically it so far. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we do actually need string and the, and the like. So fishing is one way to get string. But a better way to get it is actually to go to a um, mine shaft and find it there. And I've been to a mine shaft and found it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this onto the this enchant here. Fishing also gives you XP, so it's another very well worth doing. So this cost me nine to get this one. Let's go and demonstrate it now. It doesn't work so well with iron ore, of course, but uh, it works very well with coal and redstone. So let's just put these down here and then break them. And as you can see, I'm not getting them back again. I'm getting this 10 iron sand. Now the iron sand is actually from Blood Magic. So let's have a look at Blood Magic. And you should be able to see somewhere down here, iron sand. So you can get iron sand, gold sand, coal sand. I'm not quite sure what we do. Let's look at the uses of that one. Smel oh, it smelts items, or we can use it in the alchemy chest here. This is actually the important one, the alchemy chest, because otherwise you'd use some coal for doing that one. So the basic cutting fluid is the one, and I think that'll accept coal sand and coal, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, but you need a magician's orb. I know it does, it does allow apprentice blood orbs as well, good. The different levels of orbs in that. So what's the other one here? Sulfur, which is basically from lava, so obviously used in salt peter is another one here, so that's plant oil, blood magic. Now this alchemy table is new, I haven't seen that before, and it needs a blaze rod. But before we do anything we've got to get a weak blood orb. So a weak blood orb is made in the table, let's have a look, one diamond in a blood altar. Well with 2000 LP will give us that. Now the blood altar this changed a little bit because we then need to get some demonic will <laughs> now demonic will this is actually this isn't just enough resources which is showing up here we also need to make the book now the, the manual is actually under guide so if we look for at guide we should see the manual it's probably on the last the last item in the book here life essence this one so we need a piece of glass a book and a feather so we should be able to do that now. actually we haven't made one yet so let's go and just get the bits and pieces ready and so there will be three pieces of paper I can get from in here one one let's go to the next one oh I can put it back in there I'll leave it in there like that we also need a feather which we've got already on chest oh we do need something from here because leather we also need leather now that's also being dropped by fishing that's another useful thing for this one and we needed a piece of glass which I'm not sure I've got at the moment let's make a piece of glass actually I should have some glass I think yes I got 63 glass so what did we need a feather was the other one doesn't it so let's craft a book should be able to craft a book. Oh no, oh no, I can't do a book on here. I've got to do the paper first, haven't I? Three pieces of paper. Let's do that around. Piece of leather. I'll give us a book. So now we've got some new recipes unlocked, and we should be able to just simply click this one in here and give us the blood magic manual. So now we can right click this blood magic manual and we can see the different aspects of it the alchemist, the architect, the demon kin. And the ritual master. Now, normally, I think as far as I remember, we start with a, not this one. I think we start with the architect because we need to start with the blood altar. So then we need demonic will. So we have to go and find demonic will. Now, where do, you can search for demonic will. That's probably the easiest thing to do when you're starting up is to search. Let's look for will. I think I spelled that wrong, didn't I? So we need demonic will and snares. So what we have to do, basically, it says, I'm not going to read this all, all up out, but basically we need to 
get a snare an animal and kill it and I think this works best I haven't read it through yet empty vessels such as zombies but all right okay I'm not going to read it all through but basically what we have to do is snare an animal and kill it so I'm going to prepare that stuff for the next episode um, and we shall get the stuff all prepared ready and make the snares they're quite easy to make actually but we need string for that but let's have a look at what else I found while I'm while I'm in here by chance when I was doing my test world I just happened to come across a uh, zombie spawner and it's just down here as you can see I've not been doing I've been tunneling away this actually leads to the uh, mine shaft and here we found a zombie spawner I just had, I got killed about five times wondering why I was getting killed and I discovered that yep there's a there's a spawner here so I'm going to turn this into a mob spawner and the next one we will have a look at is over here where we've got um, a mine shaft and the mine shaft has got some cave spiders into it so of course mine shafts are a great place for strings you need a sword and then you can chop at this the, uh, the spiders webs and get the string from those are pretty useful if you use shears on cobwebs you're supposed to get cobwebs back yes spider webs give you cobwebs and down here I've been doing a little bit of mining because I found those four diamonds just down there on that in that block as you can see and I put a door in front of the, the mine shaft which of course then I managed to tunnel my way past it <laughs> and then I've lit up the whole of the mine shaft as far as I know and here was the spider spawner so I managed to break all the, the cobwebs down here and get that stuff up I haven't picked up the track as you can see um, need a pickaxe for that but you can also possibly here let's have a look at the map here I'm underground and now it doesn't show me let's go to daylight in fact let's go, let's go up a vertical chunk to a vertical chunk of 3 or 4 no let's look at daylight north of here there was the um, ocean monument so I'm actually hearing all of these mobs here are from an ocean monument so there must be an ocean monument east as well I think there is an ocean monument east Maybe that's the one I was looking at as you can see a lot of mobs around there and that's the ocean monument um, and it makes quite a lot of noise but this mine shaft itself is fairly small but of course there's a huge amount of area down here I haven't actually done anything with have I got my bow on me no unfortunately not I didn't pick my bow up I'm going to just demonstrate that one I've got a really fairly decent bow from doing the stuff that I was doing before um, from the fishing so it's got lots of different characters characteristics on it and I was going to put multi shot on there I think as another as another characteristic I've gone the wrong way it's this way I think yeah we're looking at the map yes it is there's my doorway I can bypass the doorway there was a lot of coal there I mined up the coal that I think I've seen seeing some coals have been traveling down here as well which I haven't bothered to mine but maybe now with this new pickaxe I will be able to do that more effectively see there was there was stuff up there that I actually did some mining for that's some coal a lot of coal here let's just mine this up so smashing doesn't turn this in just turns it into coal but it's fast and it should be giving repairing the repairing the tool at, at the same time as I'm doing this because it's got mending on it so it doesn't actually tell me what the damage level to this is there must be another mod I have to add to, uh, to put damage level on but if I press F4 now we can see the light levels so let's put down a torch down here to light it up a bit now the advantage of these light levels is when you when you're going down here you can see where to put the next torch so when I'm going along I'm looking for say level 3 and I can go down here as well and in fact I think I found some more diamonds down here 
which I haven't yet mined up. Now, where are those? I've forgotten where they are. I'll come back in a second when I've found them. Right, as you can see, I found diamonds. Now, with the with the luck on this, I'm going to pick up these diamonds now. I basically carved them all out. So we two, two, three, four, five diamonds in this particular bit. So now I've got should have five diamonds. In fact, I've got nine diamonds because of the lock on the pickaxe. And you'll see that it's now fully repaired. So this is going to be an awesome pickaxe for this particular uh, mod pack. So I think that's it for this episode. So next episode, we're going to start with doing some blood magic stuff. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.